Hello, troublemakers. Welcome into another first and last. And this one I have been waiting for for years. Every year I'd hear something new about Riverdale, how it's more off the rails than ever. And I would think, great, they're so off the rails, they must be canceling the show soon. And for years, it just continued to get renewed, and I had to continue pushing off making this video. But today it's over. It's finished. Riverdale is no more. So we finally get to do the pilot and then the series finale. That's how this, this series works. We only watched two episodes. Now much like most interesting relationships, this series wouldn't be good without a little bit of cheating. <laughs> Four years ago, I think I watched the whole first season. Or was this just the pilot? 1.6 million of you though. Why? What's, what are you doing with your lives? 1.6 million people? Sometimes I look at my views and I'm like, who are you? What choices are you making? 1.6, look at this. I can see it. I have a necklace that I put in my pocket. And you guys are like, this is the guy I'm gonna watch. What are you doing? Oh, the eras of Dylan. The tall hair, key necklace in my pocket. I, okay, so this is just a pilot. I guess I only watched the, I thought I watched the whole first season. Like the video though. That's me liking my own videos. I do it every time. You guys should as well. Hit the like button. Riverdale is underrated, this age like milk. By season three, people were like, delete the show. And then it went on for five more seasons. All right, episode one. Our story is about a town. Okay. A small town. Okay. And the people who live in the town. <laughs> who typed that? Who typed that into a script? This is the story about a town. A small town. And the people that live in the town. The town itself is a town, the town of town. Never. Twilight. Twilight. Hey, 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 if you watched the shot here and you didn't think Twilight, then I I feel sorry for you. With what the Blossom Twins did this summer. Blossom Twins. Oh, the tw one of the twins, the, the guy dies. Jason and Cheryl Blossom drove out to Sweetwater River. Why did they hold hands? Were they in, were they incestuous? Are you scared, Jason? He, listen, I don't know who the actor is, he looks like a kind of guy who you don't want to let speak. Like, you are a silent role for a reason. I hope he's not like a good actor now, because that would ruin him. Why are you sitting like that? That's not how you row. Look, look, watch him row, watch him row. Oh, well that guy is guilty as hell. Look at this face. I've seen enough middle-aged white men to know when one is guilty of murder. He was responsible in some way. He's done bad things, at least. Jason's death was ruled an accident. <laughs> you? You were the one that wrote it? A town, a town, where people in the town worked in the town. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I was hoping that, um, that watching the first episode was gonna <laughs> chop my memories and uh, remind me of, of all the characters and events. Brand new to me. Everything is so <laughs> like with, with unimportant things in my life, I just eject. Like it, it doesn't stay in my brain. This is gone. Every day, all day long. <gasps> affair, affair, Archie affair with an older woman. I didn't eject. Something stayed in my brain. Oh, the scandalous stuff. Of course. Yeah. You don't even like reading poetry. Oh, they weren't poems. They were song lyrics. Music. What about football? Can you do both? Football and music. You think you can do two things at once? What are you, Troy Baldwin? I've been thinking about us and how it's time. Well, hello, little Red Riding Hood. Why, you're having an affair. Don't worry about her. Oh, ah, the wor that's gotta be the worst feeling. You're about to tell somebody that you have feelings for them. And as you're telling them, they get distracted by a beautiful girl that walks in. How long does it take for your ego to recover from that? Months, right? Veronica Lodge. Archie. <laughs> Their acting is actually pretty good. Do you want to join us? Hey, maybe we can unfill you with your... <laughs> well, I, I can't. I've got football tryouts. Is that not okay? No, it's, uh, it's okay. <laughs> the highs and lows of high school. Don't deprive your son of the highs and lows. Epic highs and lows of high school football. I mean, just think of your poor sister. Mom, I'm not Polly. Okay, that's good to know. She, she likes more traditional relationships. Bro. You are no! Where are you? Why are you here? 
You're in this? I feel like I knew that. God, do you guys remember 13 Reasons Why? Whatever happened to that show? I haven't heard anyone talk about that show. I don't think anyone's thought about that show since it ended. Did you tap some cougar ass this summer? Ah, he did. Totally did, bro. He totally did. He did. His teacher. Oh. He gets singing lessons from one of these girls. Josie, right? And the pussy cats? Is it Josie and the pussy? Did I? Is that another thing in my head? You're staring at our pussy cat ears. What do you need to say? Uh, the pussy cats are building a brand. Continue telling. Oh, why? How many affairs is he gonna have? Betty and Archie aren't dating, but they are endgame. Okay, all right. Uh, seven years went by after they wrote that line. Is that gonna be true? Well, she, no, she was with the Sprouts. Dughead? Dughead. Mudhead? Jason wouldn't want us to spend the year morning. Jason would want us to spend the year evening. <laughs> Collectively. Oh, up here. And celebrate my brother. Wait, this music? This is this scene is straight up inspired from Friday Night Lights. The music and then there's a little zoom. Oh, I love that. On this mortal coil. I love this so much. Woo! Oh, up there! Up there! Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't blame him. Look at her. Do you alright? With the the love, the heart glasses. Up there! <laughs> My god. No wonder I called this show underrated. This is so good. It's unfortunate this is the peak. <laughs> the first like 15 minutes, peak. Who's Grundy? Oh, her last name's Grundy though. Kind of a deal breaker. Hello, Miss Grundy. Undie Grundy. Oh, she would have got bullied as a kid too. That's probably why she has low self-esteem to be dating a high schooler. You know what I mean? Oh, she's such a yes man. Oh, she's so good with her performance too though. Something you wrote? It's rough. No, it's great. <laughs> yes, man. I'm Cheryl Blossom. May I sit? Yeah. What is her deal? She's she's too chipper for having a dead brother, you know. Archie's Efron-esque emergence from the chrysalis of puberty. Your brother died. You killed him, though. That's why. Anyone's welcome to try out. But Betty's already got so much on her plate right now. You can't even make that con. There's a salad and an apple. You can't be like, oh, she's got a lot on her plate. Look at this fat bitch. You can't say that. Or imply that. She didn't say it. She implied it though. I saw it in her eyes. But she's eating a salad! No. Follow me on Twitter and I'll- Oh, she does- she does have a muffin. Yeah, look at that muffin. You fat bitch. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'd love to be a cheerleader. It would look great on my college applications, but- Oh, would it? Well, I, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think we should be alone together. You pulled up in your blue beetle with your love sunglasses. Hitting on a teenager. And now you have shame? Well, if you've begun this train, ma'am, you might as well sit back aboard it. You trying to restart something that never should have started. Shame now? Girl, you have... You have lost your marbles. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry. Like, I, I don't feel like I've gotten the value out of this joke yet. One jumbo marble? Look at the size difference between these two. What? This is the only one. There's only one jumbo. Is that how marbles are played? Is marbles a game? Is marbles a game? That's a question I actually have. What are marbles for? Are they for the game or did someone just invent the little ball and they're like, I guess we'll form a game around this now. But mostly it's about just touching the balls. We heard what we heard and afterwards we didn't do anything. Oh, there was an event that happened. Twilight? Fireworks. Who's lighting fireworks at six in the morning? You picked him up in the afternoon. Did you sleep out there? This is 6 a.m.? Grundy, you camped with the boy? Go, get around him, get around him. Highs and lows, baby, highs and lows. Betty here has something she wants to ask you about the back school dance. I was wondering... What's the theme this year? <laughs> you wanted to come with both of us. What did you say to me? I'm also going to the dance with Archie. Well... And Veronica. Yeah, there you go. It's a poly relationship. Huh? Look at that come full, full triangle. They don't like girls. I don't want to hear it, mom. Yeah, shut her up, please. It's happening. God, this mom. The dad too, though. Why is it always the parents in these shows that just have the stupidest plot lines? I don't care. Let's see. Okay, so the music thing is a big part of his personality. Let's see if it is the same way in, uh, in season seven. The company would be yours. I don't want it. Three months ago, you, you did. What happened? This summer, he had an affair. It's all messed up his mind. He can't get the grunt out of his mind. <laughs> That's it. Grundy! I have this fantasy of us as a power couple. <gasps> Betty, 
Oh. Is that so impossible to imagine? Oh, he's got the grunt on his mind. I thought this was a secret thing that was gonna get dragged out. But no, she was straight up like, hey, I wanna be with you. Not only that, I wanna be a power couple with you? What a statement. I'm in the mood for chaos. I, it's so annoying. I, she is such a CW character. I wanna punch her. Just like the, I'm gonna create chaos cause I'd like it. It's just boring. It's like a villain who's just like, I wanna destroy the world for no reason. Boring, all right? I want layers. I want to peel you back like an ogre. We're going old school tonight. Even the way you stand. I, I, ooh, I'm gonna push you in that fire. Did you have a boyfriend in New York? Dog, you got the grund. What are you doing? I have never felt whatever it is I'm supposed to feel with Betty. Ouch. Have you felt it though? Yeah, with the grund. This summer. Oh, he is the grund. Instead, he found me. <laughs> hey, butthead. What's his name? Uh, can I sit, Jughead? What is it? Drughead? Uh, can I sit? Drughead? Jughead! Oh, I do remember this vaguely. Uh, whatever he says does not go well. <laughs> I'm asking you now, right now, if you love me or do you... Love? Or even like me? Well, there you go. Of course I love you, Betty. Oh! Oh, as a friend? Oh, dog. Oh, Wait, is oh that my god, Jason. He was shot. Who killed Jason? Let's find out by going to season seven. Season seven, the final episode. Chapter 137. Goodbye, Riverdale. Even Netflix disrespects this show. <laughs> this show is so off the rails. Let's see how off the rails. Okay, my guess, they said the end game thing. It's gotta be Archie and um, uh, Peggy, Cheryl, Nicole. Oh, what were the names of people? The blonde girl and Archie are gonna be together. The dark haired girl is dead. 67 years have gone by. Hang on. Hang on, drug head. Say that again? 67 years have gone by. Hmm. 67 years have gone by. Your teenagers have become adults. Many have taken their last breaths. Everyone's dead? The story tonight is about saying goodbye to a town that was once lost in time, but also goodbye to the people who once lived in that town. Was it, is it like a black mirrored kind of like crazy Twilight Zone type thing? Where it was like a, a town trapped in time? She checks the obituaries every day. You knew him in high school, didn't you, Grandma Betty? That means I'm the last of them. <laughs> what is this episode? <laughs> I want to go back to Riverdale one last time. Is she a witch? What do you mean I want to go back? What are you asking? Can she send you back? We can take a drive to Riverdale. Oh, no, she wants to go back physically to this town. It's not gonna drive there. She's not a witch. I'm just expecting the most out there stuff. Jug. Wait, so you didn't get married though, to Jug? You got married to Arch, yeah? <gasps> I think she must've married Archie. Pictures of, I just wish. That was a terrible cut. Through these pictures of, I just. Hey, even in my videos, I try not to have jarring cuts. Then again, you can't even get your text right. What is this S doing here? Pick a, pick a day. I'll take you. Well, he's the witch? Is this a Scrooge situation? He's gonna take her through time. It's my room. Hello, room. Okay. Archie's about to have a big talk with his mom. About Grundy? About what he's going to do after graduation. Oh. He's gonna go work on railroads? What is he gonna do? I feel like I'm missing, I'm missing something big, all right? Is this like a real town? Or is it like a town carved through time? Is there magic involved? It's like President Eisenhower said on the news. President Eisenhower. You had smartphones. But you've written so many wonderful poems. He's a poet now and not a songwriter? Fat chance. Why is he talking now like he's in the 50s? I don't remember what happened to Mrs. Andrews. She bought her dress shop. And then one day. It's actually a good, a good finale. Uh, like we're just recapping everything. A woman named Brooke came in. They started a conversation and a few weeks later She moved into the Andrews house. They stayed together until the very end. Okay, so the mom who was absent episode one Got a live-in friend. So that was her happy ending. You did it. You divorced dad. You became a stewardess I knew the dad was a dick. I saw I called that immediately. I did not like him. One night her pilot had a steak three martinis and a heart attack. And your mom took control of the plane and flew it from Riverdale to Poughkeepsie. Her mom became a pilot, <laughs> okay. And one of the passengers on the plane asked her to dinner out of gratitude for saving his life. A few months later, they got married. Well, that is cute as hell. Hey, this episode is awesome. 
he offered to show her the world and she wrote you. This is, listen, you look like you're on a set a little too much. This is just, everything looks too fake. But hey, CW season seven, your budget's probably like $14. 1941, what? <laughs> this is the, this ain't the past. Well, oh, there's a war, there's a war, there's a war, there's a war coming, girl. You're nostalgic for this high school time and everyone's gonna die? In a war? Ain't no way this the Hey, something's up. Something's wrong. 1957? Best poem? I thought he said he didn't write poetry. Had a change of heart, huh? Wait, how is this? Oh, wait, wait, no, no, no. Okay, hold on. <laughs> 1941 was when the school was found. That wasn't the current year. But 1957. So this is Archie must have won a thing. Or in like an earlier season. So it's in the 50s. So there is time bending going on, but they're they're past wartime, okay? Back off. I don't want your mumpy cooties. I don't like her. I don't like her. Toodles. Oh, and she stole my fucking word, too. That's now that he had a hit single on the charts. Someone stole Archie's dream. Tour. Six weeks on the road with an all-star lineup. That man is 30. What are you doing playing high school? You can't lie about your age that much, dog. Every night, they booked us a super boss tour bus. Four weeks into his tour, the bus was heading over the Rocky Mountains when one of its tires blew. There were no survivors. That's what you get for stealing Archie's dream. That's his gold record over there. It'll hang in this room for as long as there's a Riverdale high. Well, that's nice. Four weeks after his high school graduation, he died. But at least he had a good song. I'd rather be alive. Well, thanks to Fangs' songs, Major and their daughter were taken care of for the rest of their lives. They lived a very spirited life in the heart of Harlem. Kevin was 82 when he went to sleep and never woke up. Clay passed away a few weeks later. Went out to enjoy some sun in Central Park. Sat on a bench to feed some pigeons. And... Hey. I, I'm still reeling. I thought everyone's getting this fairy book ending, right? And then all of a sudden you're like, hey, I'm going on tour. I got a golden record. Oh, all of a sudden one of my tires blew out. Our van exploded in the Colorado mountains. No survivors. And then the next person's like, oh, he went to sleep one night and didn't wake up in his 80s. A peaceful drifting off after a successful and happy life. And his partner, several weeks later, passed as well. Feeding the pigeons, giving back to the world. Just crazy, man. I'm getting whiplash. How, why, why do we have just one story? Why is that one guy just had like the worst ending? The four of us, what do you mean? We're happy to keep up the ruse that you're only dating Archie and not the others. What do you mean? That you, Archie, Veronica, and Jughead have been in a quad this entire last year. That's not true. Certainly that's not. Certainly. I made the poly joke earlier and I, I hated myself a little bit because I was like, I could barely get through the joke. In fact, because it was so dumb. And then you, Riverdale, said, oh, it is dumb. Let's do it. There's no way. No. A quad? They weren't, they weren't, right? <sighs> what? It's been a really fun year. You're in a quad? That's a thing? I thought, I thought the guy was just like, oh, I got the wrong impression. This quad thing's real. No. No. Can you keep a secret? One that only a handful of people know. So the four of us realized that we could and maybe should just together at the same time. Are you sure? Some nights Archie would sneak into my bedroom. Other nights Archie would spend the night at the Pembroke. I'd go over to Jughead's. What about Archie and Jug? And then you and Veronica? Oh, is that taboo? Are we not crossing that line? And sometimes, ah! I would find my way to Veronica's. And Jug? And Arch? You were always so focused on basketball. I'm so glad I got to know you, Reggie. And I think you're destined for greatness. Watch Jughead come in and be like, yeah, he had aspirations of making it to the NBA. But then his practice bus crashed in the mountains! Ugly look at jump shot. He didn't even jump. That was just a shot. Did Reggie go professional? No, he died. <laughs> and then he got drafted by the Lakers. I want to produce movies and run a studio someday. Work my way up to being a studio exec. Someone's got to fail, right? You can't have just one random guy die in a terrible accident. And then everyone else gets this just wonderful endings. Just fairy tale. Someone else has to fail. The summer after graduation, Veronica started as an assistant at Silver Shield Studios. Is that Mr. Bean? Did she, did she make Mr. Bean movies? She became known for her impeccable taste and produced some of the most iconic movies of our time. I wish I had kept in better touch with her. Oh, hey, listen, we're only halfway through. What a good final episode. <laughs> I, 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 I couldn't wait to roast and tear apart this episode, but I can't because it's hitting all the parts that I thought 
they weren't going to do well, they're doing it so well. It, I, like, even, even me, who hasn't... Like, delved into any of these characters. Like, these characters mean nothing to me. Like, I feel the emotions. And credit to her. Her and the music are, are doing a good job. That's what today is all about. Remembering. Alright, he- uh, Listen, you might be like a specter. You might be a ghost. You might as well not even be here. Like, you are bringing nothing. <laughs> I'm getting one more chance. He's checked out. I, I just know. He's, I can feel it. He don't want to be here. Also- Oh, he did! He did! <laughs> Hello, sir. <laughs> Cheryl had an incredible- Incredible career as a painter. Her work was shown in galleries and museums across the country. What about like, was, was is Riverdale like a breeding ground for just like prodigious talent? Is that what this place is? Because everyone is having like the most. Even the guy that died had like records that sustained his girlfriend and their baby's lives forever. Like that's how good his records are. Veronica was a super successful movie studio owner who, who won Oscars. The guy made the NBA. Uh, she is, uh, like a famous paint- paintist? And how did they pass away? Peacefully. Of course. After living full, sexy lives. <laughs> Everyone gets the peaceful, happy ending. Just super successful. And my man pops a tire. <laughs> Just tragic. Tough break, man. You must have did something. He must have, like, he must have did some foul stuff in an episode. And all the fans hated him, so they're like, okay, we'll kill him. We're not gonna give him a happy ending. After graduation, he enlisted and died in Vietnam. There was a war! Vietnam, of course! Alright, we got another terrible death. Let's tally him up. Here we go, number two. Nana Rose? Died! Reincarnated. Multiple times. The B and Mrs. T got married. And it died immediately on the wedding day. Frank Andrews and Tom Keller were murdered. By who? A hustler. They picked up one rainy night. Good! More murder! What's happening over there? <laughs> They're planning their quadruple relationship. I think those two guys got murdered by like a hitchhiker or something? Crazy. Like, I wanted to see their, her interaction with them. Like, let me care for them and then be like, yeah, they were butchered. It's terrible. Blood everywhere. Chief of police said it was the worst crime scene he's ever seen in 37 years. <laughs> Just after she has like a nice, pleasant conversation with them. Like, I hope things go well for you in the future. And they're like, yeah, we're looking forward to it. <laughs> Senior year was amazing and incredibly fulfilling, not just physically. <laughs> she was fulfilling, not just physically. Both of you boys filled me quite a ton, isn't that right? Chill, Betty, all right? Jesus Christ. Given the opportunity to- He's thinking about filling her. Stop, Arch. To know and love each other across not one, but two lifetimes. This is a separate life. This is a separate world. They transferred. Okay, answer. Tonight is about appreciating everything we've been through. Now who wants to get filled? <laughs> Twilight. Twilight. Hey, listen, I enjoyed this episode a lot more than I thought I was going to. And I thought I was going to enjoy it regardless, because, but like through the roasting, I have a good time with that. But this is just a good episode. Now, I'm not saying that the final season, I have no idea. Maybe the final season was trash and this episode was good. This is the last time that all of us will be together ever. Oh, I don't want to say goodbye. That's life, Betty. You say hello, you walk alongside someone for a while. And then you say goodbye. That's the arc of a life. I like that too. I like the idea of it. Like, hey, saying goodbye is part of it. I, yeah, man. Hey, this episode is killing it. And no, I won't be mentioning the epic highs and lows of high school football. <laughs> You're as rich as a Rockefeller. You also kept your beloved Jason down in a cellar. <laughs> what? You guys want to fill me in on that one? She kept her brother in a cellar. I'm gonna like, close my eyes tonight and I'm gonna see him rowing with his legs splayed. No one should row like that. Thanks. Dad! Dad! You're a rock star greaser. But Dad! It's truly one of my life's greatest pleasures to call you all my best friends. Oh, okay. Dad! Okay, here and Archie, do they live a happy life? Either, either they lived happily or they got murdered. It's, there's like no in between anymore. These people have one of two outcomes. I know we'll see each other again. Maybe we'll even end up together. He's leaving to work on railroads or something. But that's not what happens in the future. Was he the one that murdered the two guys? You make it to California and you don't look back. Well, Veronica's in California too, right? And you meet a sweet, strong girl who makes you laugh. And you have a beautiful family. And when you die, you ask to be buried here in Riverdale. Guys, this episode's something. They did it right. Except the quad thing. What the f- What is that? 
What is that? They're like, hey, we can't figure out the ship. Everyone's feeling everybody, you know? It was right after the beginning of senior year. Uh, it's a terrible blow to the town. Did he get murdered too? The, it's the shop owner of the diner. At least it happened in his sleep. He got murdered in his sleep? <laughs> what do you think happens to us when we die? For a man like Pop Tate, he's probably still doing what he loved best. Flipping burgers and mixing shakes. For the rest of eternity, I bet. Hey, if you tell me in the afterlife I gotta flip burgers and be a service worker, I'm searching for immortality. What are you talking about? In the afterlife, he's working? I know he loved it, but I think he probably loved like sitting back and drinking a beer better, right? A self-published bestseller? She wrote a book. Oh, you bitch. You finished the book? Who grew up reading the magazine you started? Yeah, what? Like literally, it's a it's a prodigious high school. This is the most decorated class in the history of high schools. Do you have any regrets about not getting married? None. Well, she didn't end up with Archie then. She ended up with no one. Once you're in a quad, how do you go back to a double? It's hard to revert at that point. I know it's impossible, but I wish that we could stay in Riverdale forever. Well, actually, watch them now. As we were. It would cheapen the whole thing. You have to move on. In fact, it's time to get you back. Mm -hmm. Watch out, watch those wheels, and one might come off. <laughs> what about Grundy? We never got Grundy. What happened to the Grund? I hope, I hope the series ends on a shot of Grundy. Just out of left field. She's in this diner waiting for everybody. She's asleep. She's fucking dead. I don't think she's asleep. Well, she is asleep, just a permanent kind. And we belong. Jason! <laughs> Still don't speak. He doesn't speak. Bro gets murdered, and now he's a, he's a doorman. Afterlife is tough, bro. Dead. Car crush. <laughs> Get your quadruple ass out of here. Y'all messy. Y'all are messy. We'll leave him here, I think. Forever 17. Always grabbing a burger or a shake in this diner. So if you happen to see that neon sign some lonely night, come on in. Take a seat. Know that you'll always be among friends. Romantic end to this show. This episode is knocking it out of the park. It's like that serial killer knocked those two guys out, murdered them. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Have a good night. Thanks, man. How nice was that? My goodness. What a pleasant experience that was. I can't believe Riverdale it has one of the best finales I've ever seen. I think they did a good job of um of threading the needle between like giving everyone a happy ending and then murdering people. Like, it was a nice balance. That's a theme that rings true for me, is like uh, the passage of time. Kind of holding on to your youth and uh, immortalizing that in your memory. And then looking back on it later on in life, like, ooh, ooh, <laughs> that one's good. I'd like you guys to tell me your experience with the show. Is it just this video? Is it the whole thing? Did you drop it at some point? Let me know what you think. And then also, what do you think of the finale then? If you didn't, if you, especially if you didn't like earlier parts, was the finale at least satisfying? Besides the quadruple thing, thanks for watching. What a, what a, what a pleasant day now. This has turned out to be. I'll see you guys next Monday, all right? <laughs> Toodles.